Hello, I'm here with Rebecca Thompson, owner of Macabana, a beautiful boutique resort on the island of Grenada. Um, hi, Rebecca. Hi. Uh, can you just tell us a bit about the style of Macabana and how it sets itself apart from other hotels on the island? Yes, well, Macabana is a small family-run boutique, luxury boutique resort, and uh, we have seven villas. Um, and basically, we have um, a concept that um, the interiors of the, uh, the villas are luxury, five-star. Um, they've got beautiful kitchens, uh, very spacious. Um, we have a lot of amenities. We have full uh, melee equipment from Germany and uh, espresso ma machines. And, uh, but outside, it's very organic. Uh, we are fully solar powered and um, basically a lot of privacy. Um, Macabana is uh, Arawak. Uh, Maca means tree, and Bana means good place to be. <laughs> and that's the concept behind Macabana. And each villa is uh, named after a tropical fruit tree, which is planted next to the villa. So the guests could actually seasonally pick their own fruit, and then the interior decor and the color is to match. And I hear you've got fantastic views from your rooms. Can you tell us what you're looking out over? Yes, you look out over Magazine Beach, which is a lovely uh, white sand Caribbean side, not the Atlantic side, so it's, it's very safe to swim. And um, beyond that, um, it's St. George's, very pretty, one of the prettiest capitals, I think, in, in the Caribbean. And then beyond that are the mountains, the rainforest of Grenada. And at night when you look out, you can sit in your hot tub. Each villa has a private massaging hot tub. Um, you can look out, you see the, the lights of St. George's in the distance and then the stars above and yeah, it's very romantic. And something that uh, does set you apart from other hotels is the fact that you're an artist and a lot of your work's in the hotel. And do you offer lessons as well? Yes, um, it's actually a pleasure for me if somebody wants to go and do a lesson in art because it gives me the, the opportunity and the excuse to go into the countryside to a lovely spot, maybe by the river or by a, a quiet beach that's off the beaten track. And basically we just take some uh, sketchbooks and some different media, maybe some watercolor, uh, some pastels and, and go and sketch outside. And you know, people really like that. They like just being outside as well as um, taking the time, not just to take a picture and come home, but to sit and look at the view and really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, I, I like to do it. So <laughs> It's a great memento of the island to take home. And you also have an, a small holding where people can go and pick their own food. Is that right? Yes, yes, we do. Um, we have a, it's about 13 and a half acres uh, up in the parish of St. David's. And um, uh, we were growing some short crops. So recently we've uh, decided to move into flowers. So we're planting um, a lot of flowers there. We have nutmeg trees, we have callaloo growing, and I'll take um, the guests up and they can pick their own callaloo or their nutmeg, bring it back to Macabana. We've got lovely big kitchens there so they can have a private lesson with one of our local chefs and learn how to cook the food that they picked that morning. So they know it's fresh and they know where it came from, yeah. And finally, um, I think you own a restaurant as well. Do you want to tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, we, we own Aquarium Restaurant. We've had that a lot longer than Macabana. We've had that about 20 plus years. And um, it's right by the water. Um, it's right next to Macabana. And um, yeah, it's, it's very well frequented by local people as well as visitors. And it's a nice mix of people. We have a Sunday barbecue and it's really nice. We've got business people mixing with, with uh, tourists and it's very easy going, yeah. All right, thanks very much and good luck with the, the hotel and the restaurant. Thanks very much. Okay, bye.